Hello everybody, cheers, happy new year to you. <laughs> I'm drinking orange juice. Yeah, and I'm drinking uh, soda. That's it, yeah, yeah, Hope you all have a happy new year and all your wishes come true. They ask, like, what are you doing? I'm sitting in a pub because it's so dark and cold and wet. They said beer. <laughs> yes, it's beer. Hi, Dad. Hi. Everyone asked me to go live with my dad, so here he is. They said you're funny. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Hi, Dad. Hi, Daddy. Thanks, sir. You too. Happy New Year. So, that with my dad. <laughs> no, don't call him Papa. He doesn't like it. No, Papa makes me feel old. Dad, Dad or Daddy is okay. I'm English, remember. <laughs> Bonding with Daddy. We should show them outside how horrible and wet it is. Four, de four degrees. How old are you, <laughs> Too old. That's very rude. You shouldn't ask that. How old do I feel? He's <laughs> 40. Oh, the bookie thing. That's what I when you were 15. <laughs> when I was 15. <laughs> oh, wait. You're 73. I'm 25. Mm. So, mm. where could be learned. Heard a sheep is coming out with all this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
I understand more Thai than I can speak. That's a lot of countries, is it? Um, that's because I was a soldier for a long time. How and old when you were a soldier? I joined the army as a boy at 15. And done lots of education. And then when I was 18, they allowed me to travel uh, with my regiment and that took me all over Europe, uh, the country I mentioned before. Does everyone know that I nearly be a girl soldier here in England because of, because of him? She nearly was a girl soldier, but she doesn't like the cold. <laughs> what do you call it? The what? Um, that place. It's called the WRAC, which yeah, means the Women's w Royal Rex. That's it, yeah. Rex. yeah. I nearly joined Rex because I haven't finished high school yet at that, that time, but you said, do you want to stay here? If you want to stay here, you have to join Rex, right? To be a girl soldier. Remember? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so guys, I nearly, got, I nearly got to be a soldier. But nowadays what they do, they incorporate the girl soldiers into all the regiments uh, because of equal rights. When the equal rights bill come out, the girls can now join any regiment, providing, <coughs> providing they can do the physical tests. Surely you should just sell more. <coughs> don't call him Papa. They said Daddy Austin so cool. Thank you for your service, sir. Who said that? <laughs> Dad, can I marry your daughter? <laughs> they say. If <laughs> you're a millionaire, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you're a Saudi prince, yes. Hi <laughs> from Greece. Where? Greece. Oh, Greece. I love Greece. Can you say Swadika? Uh, in Greek? No, in Thai. There's Thai fans as well. Okay, Swadika. Spidey Mai. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> so people from Greece on there. So any of the uh, Greek listeners and, and people are from Greece watching, the Melokala Alinika, Akoma Metheno. I hope you understood that. Sex surprised you, didn't it? <laughs> Greek. <laughs> it means I don't speak much Greek, I'm still learning. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> Temelo kala alinika. Slowly. Temelo. Temelo. Oh, I can't say it. Temelo. I've forgotten it. Temelo. I've forgotten it. Tell, ask your Greek friend to tell me. <laughs> uh, and Spanish. Oh, I nearly went to Spain once for a month to learn the language alone. But then at that time, we have no money. And I nearly learned in where? Switzerland or Sweden. Remember, that is your. Who's my another dad? John, Uncle John. Oh, Uncle John, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's my stepdad, right? He told me he's my stepdad. Uncle, step brother, no. Uncle John, Uncle John. What, the old yeah. Uncle John in Phuket? That he have a big house. Oh, and God, 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 yeah, God, Godfather. 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 <laughs> Yeah, Godfather, yeah. He's my godfather and he said you should should let me Correct. go That's learn right. in Sweden. That's right. Or, or Switzerland, you can't remember. But at that no, time No, it's New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Yeah, now we got there. But at that time we don't have that didn't didn't <laughs> we didn't have that much money so couldn't go. Yeah. And New Zealand is a long, long way. But it's pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah. They said New Zealand and Australia is kind of like the same. Well, that's arguable if you're New Zealand or an Australian. They will argue against that. But yeah, that that part of the world.
I can only like, I can only speak Spanish only one sentence. Me gustaría un poco de vino, por favor. Poco is small. Vino is wine. I have a small wine, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I learned first when I went to Germany. Um, no, in Spain. Uh, what was it? Uh, dos cervezas, por favor. Dos cervezas, por favor. Two beers, please. <laughs> dos cervezas. Cerveza. Beer. Beer is cerveza. Correct. Okay, now I know. And in Germany, it's five beer better. You know everything about beer. <laughs> That's the first thing yes. I learned. And French fries, pommes frites and French fries. Pommes frites in Germany, French fries elsewhere. But in England, uh, chips. Yeah. Mm. See, I can say it automatically, but I can't. I don't know what I'm saying. You've been to India? No. He haven't been to India. I have, I have Indian friends though. Jasper's India. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of Indian friends. I'm excited about He can speak a lot of languages, but he, he just like pop up. Only if I'm asking for beer and food. <laughs> I don't know how to get to the post office. <laughs> Have you been to Jamaica? Where? Jamaica. Jamaica? No, I'd love to go there. I'd love to go. Greece is also um, a country that I would like to go. Greece is fantastic. Beautiful. The islands. The islands. I, I worked in Rhodes, or as you say in Greece, Rhodos and Evia. So they're the two places in Greece that I, I worked. Rhodos and Evia. Both islands. How far is Richmond from London? Um, about three, you, 300 miles. In hours? In hours, probably. Well, you, you drove it, so it's about four hours. Because I have my, my, um, how to say, a brother in the entertainment, mm -hmm. he's in London right now, he's going for a second, so he's not going to be here, and he, and he told me to go to London, and I'm like, I can't drive to London, so I asked him to come here. Him that, yeah, he will not come here. Well, no. The weather's too bad. Yeah, he know how to speak Thai, but he won't speak Thai to me, otherwise I will forget my English. What is the first word Charlotte said in English? Ooh. I can remember it. In the back of the car, we were going somewhere, and you leant over and said, Dad, are we there yet? So she said a whole sentence, and I went, oh? Didn't I say that? Are we going swimming? Yeah, in the back of the car. Yeah, we was probably going swimming, but you said, are we there yet? And that's the first phrase or sentence I heard in English from you. Before that, it was all time. <laughs> so you didn't say one word, you said a whole sentence. Yeah. Are you sure the people that fired, darling? You don't get that. You won't, you, won't, you won't get that in Thailand. Real fire. Yeah, it's so cold out there. Four degrees. You say, are we there yet? Yeah. That's yeah. my first phrase. That's the first sentence. Right? Yeah, I think I was taking a swimming to the beach. Not to the beach, to the hotel that you used to take me all the time. Mm. The hotel, we took a photo of this. Yeah, yeah, Katatani. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fire stove pit. Mm. Has it snowed yet? No, but it is forecast. In other words, they have said on the radio and the TV it's on its way. I hope we don't get snowed in and can't get back to the airport. <laughs> I 
and me. Go on, you go and order it off the man. What is it? Uh, Sixtons. Sixtons. Talk with my friends. Say anything. Sixtons. <laughs> right, Charlotte's been a good girl. I'm going to get some um, more beer. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all had a good Christmas. Some of you celebrate it, some of you don't, I know. But it's still a holiday period and um, everyone's had a good time here. Even though the weather has been really <laughs> Today it got dark at 3.30. That's p.m. And it'll get light in the morning probably about 9 p.m. So we don't get a lot of daylight, especially when it's like this, the cloud and rain. Charlotte's hungry, trying to get some food. Perhaps he'll have to wait. You can enter online at Greatest Hits Radio.co.uk on the Middlesbrough Oh, the big one, I'm going to sit here for a long time. Oh, right. 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 Oh, but this beer I've got here is called Thixton's, which is a local brewery. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, this one is a good question, but they say Thixton's is not very good. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but it's not very good. Did your dad serve during World War II? Oh, come on. I'm not that old. But you've been into a war before. That's why you have your heart problems. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not that old, all right? Um, he's not that old, but he's, he's been in a war, a small one. Yeah, yeah. two, actually, two small ones. And that's not good. Good to see you I enjoyed it because I had good friends with me and I knew I was safe. When you have a bigger gun than your enemy, you're safe. <laughs> So, and that's the way I looked at it. <laughs> so you look for a like, guy with a small gun that's and shoot them? That's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'll tell them first, I've got a bigger gun than you, you better run. <laughs> <laughs> you choose run or die. <laughs> Oh, two. That's a bit cheeky. Who said that? I don't know. Where from? I don't know. <laughs> that is so long ago. That's before I was born. <coughs> that is real history. I would love you guys to visit Manchester one day. Man too, Manchester. We used to, like, how many years ago? Seven years ago, we went to Manchester. We did, yeah. Yeah, but it's, we can't do it this time because our plan is just to rest and go to London. Yeah, normally, if we come to the UK, we would fly into Manchester because that's the closest uh, main airport to where we live here. Mm -hmm. um, but however, Charlotte wants to visit um, London. London, so we flew into Stansted, which is just north of London, about, I don't know, about 40 minutes on a train. Can you tell us when Charlotte was small? Oh, so much. She was what I call a beach baby. She loved the beach, she loved the water, and she loved running around half naked. <laughs> 
uh, with her friends on the beach, other little girls and boys, just the swimming trunks on and playing in the sand. Um, and she used to sleep a lot. But I'm a good girl. Yeah. When one of first school, when she was four, come home and go straight to bed. She was so tired. <laughs> like in the garden. Yeah. 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 And then you moved to Luchon. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And yeah. then you start working there. Yeah. So he was. He moved his work at the same time as I moved my school. So that's the reason why he's a teacher at. <laughs> until I finish. No, I finish and still, and he's still working because he you said had to go to university. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pay for the university. And when I get my my first, how to say, my first money, first like. Um, a lot of money. I told him to retire. She told me to stop, yeah. But you won't stop. Well, I just finished my contract. That's right, I remember. Yeah, we talked about it in the car. Yeah. We um, nearly, we nearly got a fight when I said, stop working. I just finished my contractual year, which was in March. So we talked about it, I think, in, I don't know, September, October. And I said, okay, I'll finish the year and I won't sign up again. We have to sign up every year. Um, and I didn't. And when you retired, and what did you say to me? Now it's your turn to look after me. Um, <laughs> That's why I'm a hard-working girl, guys. So help me with my work, okay? I'm happy for the father to have such a daughter. I'm the only daughter in the in the house. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bang my head. <laughs> Brazil, love you. I oh, love you, Brazil. I wish I could come there. I hope it's nice and warm now. Do they have snow? Yes, we do. Well, you don't have snow in Brazil, do you? Only on the mountains. <clears throat> they have famous beaches. <laughs> Famous beaches, good music, good food. <laughs> Very pretty women because I think Miss Grand is a Brazilian, yeah? Yeah. There you go. She's here as well, London. I think I'm going to meet her. Oh, is she? Yeah, wow. Yeah. This one is a is a very naughty question, but don't say anything, okay? It says, do you remember Charlotte's first boyfriend? <laughs> don't you answer that? <laughs> <laughs> she was still at school, so you can imagine what he was like. <laughs> Bit of a dork with lots of spots. <laughs> you have the best daughter ever. I know, he knows that. Uh, what was that nice about food? You asked him about food. Yeah, he said maybe earlier. Maybe earlier, and if it's earlier than five, he will let us know. Because the, the chef is not in yet. I'm not asking, and you don't tell me. They are all laughing at you. <laughs> I had a big stick behind the door when the boyfriends come. You, you two share a secret as well? Well, I tell him everything. No secrets. I tell him everything. He never told me how to live a life, but he taught me how to... I taught her how to accept mistakes and learn from them because you cannot say to people do not do this, do not do that, you will make a mistake. The only way you learn is to make the mistake and go, uh-uh, I won't do that again. Yeah. yeah. He never said, don't do this, don't do that, that will not be good for you, this will be good for you. But he let me live my life and just know that if you do this, it's going to happen. Yeah, Show me your British accent, Charlotte. I have no British accent. He has. He has it. 
Mm. No, Charlotte doesn't really have an accent. Um, a bit nondescript. If I talk to people from where I come from, then I, I talk slight London accent. If you're in London, you're going to be... Then I'll, t- I'll turn, into, turn into London. Yeah. So now we have three... But because I was a school teacher, I had to keep the accent out of my voice. Dad did a great job raising her. Rising or raising? Raising. Raising. raising her. But we did a lot of help as well. Yeah, what? helped a great deal when you were Yeah. Cooking, cleaning, washing, everything. Well, I'll guess you. Don't bad crop. Don't you get to not do me? ไม่ฉลาดไม่ได้แต่จําได้ว่าพอนั่งเดินหัวที่มอนว่าพี่มอนไม่ต้องซักผ้าฉลาดแล้วนะฉลาดจะรีบให้แล้วจะนั่งม
Have a look, she's going to Google it now. Probably get a cartoon come up. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of Megan Trainer. But yeah, there is a Megan Fox, an actress, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you you got the same facial features. You got the same hair ish. But she looks angry. But that's just a pose. That's a good call. Yeah, she does look a bit like Megan Fox. Same bone structure. It's apple. Apple juice. They said Megan Fox plus Angelina Jolie. I said that yesterday, didn't I? Angelina Jolie, remember? I said that yesterday. Let me look at your lips. And nose. You've got the lips of nose of Angelina Jolie, yeah. Because I put fear on it. And she was married to who was she married to? David Beckham. No, no, no. no. That was Victoria. Most. He was voted the most handsome man in the world. No, not me. Ronaldo. No. Brad. Brad Pitt. Yes. She was married to him. I look like Megan Fox because I did my surgery on my nose and I put a filler on my lips. Who said that? No, I said it was oh. You've got trouble on your lips. I didn't know that. Mm. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I did a lot on my face. <laughs> oh, they said we have the same. Now, now they know where did I get my my jaw lines from. from you. Show it to them. Show it to them. Show it. No, show yours. Oh, mine. Same. So I'm just watching the palmers. The chef's coming, yeah. My dad's hungry. I don't think I can eat a 10 ounce steak. 10 ounces, how much is that? That's, God, that's a lot. It's only a pound of meat. <laughs> so I'm having apple juice. Sorry? Apple juice, yeah. They said fish and chips. So no, he, he's been eating fish and chips for two days already. <laughs> Lovely. I'll probably have one more. What's that? Snow coming? What's your favourite London dishes? Favourite London what? Fish. London dish? Oof. Well, I love fish and chips, and I love traditional English stews, which are made from either beef or lamb. Lots of onions and carrots on a cold day like this, stewed up, beautifully hot, wonderful. That's what. That's my favourite. I think. Dad, Dad got a Scottish accent. I'm not Scottish at all. <laughs> I'll tell an uh, what do you call? It? Teach me one sentence or a word in a British accent. Because they really want me to say something in a British accent, but I can't do it because it's so hard. A lot of people speak their local dialect rather than a British accent. Um, everywhere you go, you'll be greeted in a different way. So to, to be British is is difficult. It's it's local dialects. Like where we are now in Yorkshire, 
walk into a pub as we did, and instead of saying, hello, how are you? The man say, you up, lad, you okay? That's traditional. Eop. Lads mean? Lad means man, young boy. How about Lass. 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 Or duck. Yeah, duck. Lass and lad. Yeah. But they're called girls, ducks. Why? Term of endearment. Yeah, duck. Hey, duck. Not duck, duck. Hey, duck. You're right. Now teach me and... British accent word. <coughs> Teach me how to speak the British accent. Any word, just one word. Any word, which would that be? Oh, a sentence. A, a greeting. Hello, how are you? Is that British? That's British, yeah. Hello, how are you? That's not British. Of course it is. Oh, water. <laughs> water. water. Once again, you're talking dialect, you're talking slang. It's not British, it's a dialect. It's like when you go to any country, whether it's Brazil or China, India or Pakistan, they will have different dialects. It's the same here. A cup of tea. He would like to. Lo he loves to have a cup of tea in the morning. Cup of tea, yeah. Cup of tea. If I went to London, I would say, "Hello, mate. All right." If I come to Yorkshire, I go, hey, up, lad, you okay? It's all different, it depends where you are. Taught them how to say crisps. <laughs> crisps, I remember that, you couldn't say that. I, I couldn't say crisps. 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 This is crisps. Not chips. Okay, most people call those chips. We call them crisps. Crisps. It's lovely, isn't it, eh? Crips. When you say chips, it means French fries. So it's crisps. No, crisps. S first, and then a P. Crisps. Crisps. So it's S P S. Crisps. Crisps. Correct. Well done. You got it. Crisps. That's it. Still teaching her English at her age. I thought I'd finish that when she was twelve. Nah, he can talk Brazil. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I can't talk Brazil. Brazilian <laughs> speak Portuguese. Yeah, I know. Never been to Portugal. Never been to Brazil. Crisps. This is yummy. So hard to serve. Okay, let's play this game. Tell me the longest word you know in English. Super cavalry. Don't say that. You know that one, do you? Okay, try. You can't even say it. Super califragilist thick expelidocious. Oh. I don't think anyone would be in a hole. Super cali super califragilistic expelidocious. <laughs> Can you say it? Super it comes from a movie and it just means really, really, really good. Super califragilistic. Super. All people know that. Super califragilistic expialidocious. That's the longest word in English. And the lady that was the actress was um, Mary, Mary Poppins, wasn't it? Yeah. Hi from Thailand. Hi. Um, Anybody from Phuket? <laughs> Don't follow my dad home. <laughs> no. Who shoot you? Yeah. I miss Phuket. I miss the warm. If I buy a house here, would you come and stay? Wait, no, Yeah. Yeah. All right. I've actually got contact for her. Yeah. She's good at making something. Yeah. Yeah. Buying the house is half of it, you've got to furnish it as well. Oh, that's that number. MJS Locksmith. He had it the same in my, uh, my silver van. Yes, I'm going to go see Trini. Oh, that's the thing, I was looking all over, I was like, yeah. How many people are now? 4,000. Yeah, just the end pulls out. Anyway, it's still in the ignition tank, though. Is that about average? I've just got out. Oh, 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 o
Oh, we know they want to go sleep and reduce like 8,000. Five to 8,000. You used to handle that with your parents. Yeah, yeah. I said the thing on Facebook the other day. It says, when a pair of grips will do, and it's like a rusty all underneath the car, and a pair of grips all in the Oh, no, yeah, all rusted up and that. Oh, does your dad drink some tea? <laughs> Every morning. Every morning. About three or four cups a day. You know where Peppy's old yard was? Night. Yeah. Oh, morning, lunch. Afternoon, Afternoon evening. Like, uh, evening. Part of the build centre or whatever it was. Not just a yeah, cup, yeah, a yeah, mug. Yeah, just on that pit in front where they all used to park. Just and there. it has to be very sweet. Very sweet. I like it strong. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, not too much milk. Not too much milk and three. Two two spoons now. Used to be three. Used yeah, to be three. Yeah. Then two. It's not midnight yet. It's eleven forty-six. Yeah. Miss Bangkok, do you? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's too noisy and crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm happy here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just joking, guys. I miss Bangkok. No, yeah. Just joking. I miss well, Bangkok. Really I miss doing work. Now. You, and now I understand you. Like when you work every day, you feel like you need to do something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, something productive. Yeah. 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 When I'm at home, I'm always doing yeah. something. I'm like, you know, trying to clean like, something or make, well, make something, mend cool. something. Then what? How do you, how do you drive it then? Oh, <laughs> well, we've got dad doing it. I'm going to get the Painting and fixing the ground. Yeah, I've got to do That's people drinking lots of beer and laughing. Oh, you Oh, from New York. New York? Oh, you were there, weren't you, in Times Square? Yeah. On the what the screen? Yeah, big screen, Times Square screen. When are you going to dye your hair black? Shit! What? Oh, right, you should the You've got to get the key out of the pocket. My actual hair colour is not black. Dark brown. Natural dark brown. However, to keep it even, you have to dye it one colour or the other. Because nobody has an even colour hair. Nobody. There's always a shade somewhere that's slightly different. I only had a key that I put the ignition on, but it didn't put the lights on or anything. It just got the lock on. They want to marry me. So we're driving in the dark, right? Driving from Liverpool to Manchester. Down there. Is it Saudi yeah, Prince? <laughs> and he's wow. It's a palace in Saudi oh, yes. Arabia. Like he's got a fleet of Ferraris. Pissing down. And I was just basically following these little glowing lights. What if people come up and say, Can I marry you, Charlotte? What's she going to say? I would say that she's a Thai, which means you'll have to give the father a dowry. <laughs> <laughs> That's tradition. Yeah, that right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Me else inside, head doing now. Hey, Paul. Louis. Yeah. Because now I have to call Tenga. I I'll be rich for your daughter, Dad. <laughs> Good, thank you. <laughs> Take her off my hands, please. <laughs> She's very expensive. But she deserves it. Isn't that right? You work hard, you deserve it. Simple as that. No, no, no. Just work hard, you get what you pay for. Yeah, yeah. He told you back from any part I did the longest tour Saudi like that tour back from mm -hmm. yeah yeah from uh, Saudi the South of France where Monica is <laughs> where it's uh, Italy there anybody so from Malta or <laughs> Cyprus there, or, or Greece or Spain Spain yes yeah, yeah, yeah Mallorca Ibiza so places I worked <laughs> many years. Oh, Ibiza yeah. is the party island. You would love yeah, it. Well, well maybe not. I don't know. Daddy say marry a rich man. I was like, Dad, no, I'm the rich man. Yeah, what, I <laughs> okay, good. We this Maserati. There was only two of us. I thought, right, we're going to have to take back. 
did have a truck over there. You have to be kind as well. He said there's no toy now. So he, he borrowed a toy now of someone with a Maserati, right? We put it in and I was like, I right, saw, I already? Told friend, if I'm like, going to have a boyfriend, yeah, 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 yeah. it has to be like you. I turned like that. Kind, I warm, like, warm he just went positive, straight on, snap the toe now. And warm heart. <laughs> didn't even take the steering. in. I was like, like you. Yeah. What did you think? That's going to be hard. Yeah, you must have done, yeah. <laughs> Not the driver. Yeah. So then I had to drive into Italy to find a hardware shop with a bit Daddy of chair. Really a bit of chair around well. the bottom arm. And then just told him on that all the way back. Well, we went through two straight bars, like five other one in Germany. So it wasn't <laughs> easy. <laughs> so we figured out the scaffold was now. Between the ages of 12 and, and yeah, I mean, 16. A, a clip called a clip clip you were learning to be a young the lady then, weren't you? Sorry. And they, they Between the ages of 12 and 16. Uh, yeah, you were a handful. Right? I don't the want to go a bit, Daddy. I want to do this. I'm going out to see my friends. Tidy your bedroom. I'll do it tomorrow. Like said, the rope bit going through and all the rest of the bar was all smashed. See, I remember. So anyway, we slept in the car. You're sharing too many secrets here. I went this building so it robbed a bit of scaffold tube of all that long. Did the same, poked it through it. Saudi Arabia. That goes to Germany. What is it in Saudi Arabia? Is it Naughty Charlotte, 12 to 16 years old? It's an age of, what do you call it? Rebellion. Yeah. Everyone has that. Yeah, you're quite right. Everyone wants to uh, do their own thing. And even at that age, they think they're right. <laughs> yeah, they have no idea. But I still remember what my dad said. It's real Santa. Santa Claus. No, it's not Santa Claus. It's you. <laughs> the wrong size so it's like this <laughs> you were <laughs> sitting there, drinking tea you know, and cookies at night and no, I, I opened driving, the door and I see him sitting and I was like right, nah right. that's not Santa <laughs> that's my dad that's a great adventure he had radio on that, didn't he? Oh he like, no, 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 Sorry. Liverpool. Liverpool, okay. I'm from Kuwait. Actually, uh, <laughs> Charlotte's grandmother came from Liverpool. Yeah, because when we, when we got into Switzerland, right? Um, we to drive not really Liverpool, place. but Birkenhead, the other no, side so of the river. The other Jewish side of the river, Mersey. So, if it's used to speak like a little puppy, that's Charlotte's grandmother. My mum. Yeah, I think we got about three Yeah, my dad used to work in Greece. He visited yeah. Greece when he was young. Mm -hmm. I used to work with um, holiday makers, tourist business, and it was in Rhodes. Um, and also an island called Evia, which is a bit like Phuket, attached to the mainland by a bridge. And there was somewhere else in the mainland. Uh, the mainland. No, no, that was Spain. No, Rhodes and Evia. They were the two seasons I worked. I loved every minute, especially Rose. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Tiny little railway. Hola, como esta? For whatever reason, they just pulled on to the railway. Once again, I understand more Spanish than I can speak. When I lived, lived there and worked there, I spoke a lot of Spanish, but unfortunately, I've forgotten a lot of it. One word to describe the dog. I know exactly what you mean. You can just see, like. Endearing. Now, I know you'd ask that. <laughs> it means um, endearing show love. If you're endearing, you show love to me. She's very loving. Oh, it's still raining. I don't know what you get How long are you doing that for? It's only gone now, five more minutes. Oh, it's awesome, me. Have you? Yeah, just venting out. Loose as much? Yeah. Just doing the air, though, Yeah, I remember now, it's like, oh, Can you recognise this song? I used to play this a lot at home. It's in the 80s. It is, good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. 
Is Kiva's got to have an eye test? When? Now. <laughs> well, what? Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Just, just go on there. What's he saying? Oh, oh, that was fucking much. He sent a picture. Amelia, Kitty, Kiwi, Helen, and him, and Oh, they're in the hungry horse, aren't they? Or the hungry heifer. What do you call that? We're in. We are in. The Holly Inn pub still. <laughs> <laughs> this should not be our pastime, but don't give a lend out. <laughs> On the pints. <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, this is, it's been stuck a few times, like, with Ellen, man. Pints, P I N T S. P I N T S. Pints. Pints. No, it's pints. Yeah. Yeah. Why do they love the Just when they see it, like, hey! <laughs> 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 what about my guys? I'm gonna have some dinner because it's nearly five and I think the chef is coming, so. See you guys! Bye bye everybody, thank you for your time, it's appreciated. Love to you all and keep yeah, in touch yeah, please. Yeah. It's also very, very nice to hear from you.